I think data catalogs have now entered into or being synonymous with this data governance conversation because of the breadth of capabilities that modern data catalogs have. The fact that you're actually able to utilize metadata for more than just cataloging assets and having them be viewable and searchable, you now have things like data lineage, so you can see how data flows through an ecosystem. You now have things like active metadata use cases where you're actually integrating different parts of the data stack with your data catalog. It becomes more of this all-encompassing data governance type platform. There's a lot of different use cases for governance. Traditionally, governance was looked at as command and control, top down, we are going to lock down our data so no one can use it. Well, now that we have this you know, active metadata type data catalogs, we're able to then say, well, it doesn't need to be command and control for every use case. It can be more of sit back and observe and then put controls and checks and balances in place where necessary. So I think catalogs have allowed companies and organizations to take a step back and look at how data actually flows their organization. And then when it comes to things like compliance and risk and these more regulatory type use cases for governance, we now have that audit ability and that audit trail of well, where did that data go? Where did it come from and who used it? Thanks for watching that video. If you'd love to learn more about Atlin or you just wanna see a product demo or talk to someone on our sales team, make sure you follow the links in the description below. If you love the video, smash that like button and please subscribe to our channel. We'll be putting out clips like this all the time. There's probably already clips on the screen that I know you wanna watch. Thanks everyone.